Maybe you've heard the news already, maybe you have not. In any event, I'm here to tell you Bianca Leggero is officially being discontinued. No more, not coming back, it's done. Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be talking about this new Bianca Leggero crisis that just popped up on Instagram yesterday. Yes, it is being discontinued, but before we get into all of that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys can also always find me over on Instagram and TikTok where I make daily coffee recipe videos. If that's something you're interested in, you can subscribe right here. Also, you guys can subscribe on Instagram if you just want to be a part of that daily coffee tea because literally yesterday the internet, well Instagram was a buzz about all of the new Nespresso discontinuations. Alrighty guys, so let's start off with the hard facts. Bianca Lachero is being discontinued. There's no ifs ands about it. It's not being rebranded. It's not being changed. It's gone y'all so of course a lot of you guys want to know why like why is this happening I mean overall Bianca Leggero is a really strong pod not in flavor but on the liking scale I think everyone really loves it I know when I started out with an espresso it was my absolute favorite pod because I wasn't that into coffee yet and I think that's why a lot of people like it it's light it's sweet it's biscuity it's a great introduction to coffee my palette has evolved a little bit over the years and so I have BL every once in a while but usually where I am right now I need like hard coffee right and I want to share with you guys that this is probably going to happen for you too so don't freak out it's okay if you're newish to Nespresso even like a year in your palette is going to evolve and over time you're going to like those more intense blends and then you're not going to be so sad that Bianca Leggero is gone. But yeah, everybody's asking why is it being discontinued if it's loved so much? And it could be many reasons. If you guys remember, last year there was a Bianca Leggero shortage. So that was kind of like a hint, I think, of things to come. And then it came back. Now it's being discontinued. It can be many reasons. Maybe Nespresso doesn't have a partnership with that country anymore. Maybe they can't get to that coffee anymore. And therefore, they can't make this particular pot. Who knows? I'm thinking it's probably something more so along those lines. But they were nice enough to offer us up some new coffees, which we will get into later in this video. Now, part of the scoop on Instagram was also that Bianco Forte would be discontinued. This made me a little bit sad because I am a ride or die Bianco Forte pod lover. Like, I really like that pod. I like how bold it is. It's one of my favorites to have on fall and winter mornings. So I was a little bit bummed by the information. But once I spoke with my Nespresso person, I found out that it is, in fact, not being discontinued, just rebranded. So it's going to have kind of like last year when they rebranded Malazio and all those pods, like they changed the box. They're probably going to change the box. Maybe they'll change the name. Um, the coffee is to remain the same, though. I was told, if this bothers you, I would say stock up. I was told with Bianco Forte that the country of origin is changing. So they're going to keep the same notes. They're hoping that the coffee will be the same. The coffee just won't be sourced from the same country. I think if you love Bianco Forte, at this point, there really isn't anything to worry about. Now for the new pods. So I've taken some notes to share with you guys. There's going to be a few new pods this uh, fall. Some of it is going to be to cover Bianca Leggero, but then overall they're just going to be some cool new ones. So let's talk about it. First up, there's going to be Bianco Doppio. Now this is the pod that will be replacing uh, Bianca Leggero. It's not like the same pod is completely different. So Bianca Leggero is going to be gone and then they're coming out with this pod that's different but similar. So according to my sources, um, this is going to be a double espresso, just like Bianca Leggero, same notes, so it's going to be sweet and biscuit, but it's going to have some notes of caramel, which I love. So although it's a completely different pod, it's going to have the same notes. So you guys don't have to freak out. There's so many great pods out there, which I will probably share in this video as well, that you can use as a substitute to Bianca Leggero. This Bianca Doppio sounds really nice because, again, you get the double espresso, which we're always hoping for. Um, you get similar notes to Bianco Leggero. I just hope that it's a little bit more intense, but that's just me. 
Next up, we're going to have Piccolo. Now, Piccolo is a single espresso shot. From the notes, I'm kind of happy to hear about it. Um, it's supposed to be intense toasted coffee with cereal notes and low bitterness. Guys, I'm here for it because I do like intense, but it's nice to have intense with kind of sweet cereal notes. Plus, it's always nice to have a new espresso pod. We can never have enough espresso pods in espresso. But I think the most fun pod of all, one that I'm looking forward to is the new, it's called Vivita, right? Vivita B12. Vivita B12 is going to be a 7.7 .7 ounce, so I love that for fall, winter. A nice cozy cup of coffee. Um, it says that it has classic cereal notes with honeyed sweetness. Honeyed sweetness. I just know it's gonna be great there's no way that it can't be great right but yeah 7.7 .7, uh, cereal notes honey sweetness but the best part about this pot and I will say probably the most innovative is that it has vitamin b12 who knew a pot could be healthy for you so this new pot is supposed to give you 25% of your daily dose of vitamin b12 so if you haven't been getting your vitamin b in that area then this pot is definitely for you some other things to discuss pumpkin spice of course is gonna be back this year it's become a staple over the last couple of years so you guys don't have to worry about that we're gonna have for two old line pumpkin spice this September for all of you pumpkin spice lovers I like it but I'm hot right now. It's still hot in California, so I'm just not there yet. Um, outside of that, though, special announcement, we will have pumpkin spice in original line. So for all of you Creatista um, owners out there, Essentia owners, original line owners, we're going to be able to experience pumpkin spice as an espresso. Now, on to my Bianca Leggero pod replacement recommendations. There are some pods that are quite similar to Bianca Leggero that will give you kind of like that sweet biscuit, kind of milky feel to your coffee instead of like that hard, aggressive punch. And I'm going to share those with you guys right now. So, of course, we've got Bianca Leggero. Sorry to see you go, Bianca Leggero. Everybody does love this pod. It's a good one. I have got, I think... I only keep about one sleeve of this around because every once in a while, and by that I mean like every two months or so, I want something really light and I will go for Bianca Leggero. Um, in the spirit of things, maybe I'll pick up two boxes to last me for a bit, but I probably don't even need to do that because it's not something that I reach for anymore all of the time. But here are three pots I think that would be great replacements. First up is going to be Peru. Peru is still hands down one of my top five favorite pods. This is what it looks like if you guys haven't seen it before, but it's been out for quite some time now. I mean, this April makes maybe, maybe a year that it's been around. So yeah, for me, Peru, it's pretty light. It's sweet. It's amazing iced. I rarely ever have this pod hot. I just think it makes a great iced latte. Um, it is smooth and balanced. Toasted sweet cereal and fruity and I think this is why it reminds me so much of Bianca Leggero because of those toasted sweet cereal notes so guys don't freak out if you can't have Bianca Leggero I promise Peru is an excellent substitute next up another great replacement I think for Bianca Leggero is going to be Hawaii Kona I love Hawaii Kona again for a nice sweet latte I usually like to pair this one with my Monin white chocolate syrup or maybe even like my Tarani salted egg yolk syrup but if you're looking for something nice and sweet then I definitely suggest this one um the website no longer has it because it is sold out it is kind of limited edition for the season so I'm looking at the notes from the original line pod but for original line it says it is fruity and nutty again it doesn't have cereal notes but fruity and nutty kind of in my opinion correlates to the same the nutty part because nuts give you kind of like that creamy sweet taste so a great substitute for Bianca Leggero since it's no longer going to be around the last pot I'm going to suggest to get your Bianca Leggero fixed when it's no longer around is Voltesso Voltesso is an OG for an espresso right it's been around for a very long time a part of the original lines meaning a part of like the original virtual offer and it's easy this one it's light and sweet just like Bianca Leggero light and sweet intensity of four um whenever I want a really sweet light latte this is what I go for 
um, Nespresso says light and sweet espresso that comes with a biscuity aroma. So biscuity, light and sweet, great substitute for BL. Yeah, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you always for stopping by. Um, I can't believe that they're discontinuing Bianca Leggero, but I'm happy that we're prepared. We're ready. We're going to make it through this together, right? So you guys have a new offering of pots that's coming out that's going to help with the replacement. I've offered you really great suggestions of pots that you can also use instead of Bianca Leggero. I hope that you guys found that all helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And guys, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram because a lot of this information kind of comes up in real time yesterday it did on Instagram and I told them like I have to make a video for YouTube first to share this information um, so yeah if you want real time Instagram is definitely the place to go but don't forget drop it in the comments down below let me know are you a Bianca Leggero fan how do you love it how do you feel about this change and yeah that's that's what I got um, this video is very impromptu I decided to make it this morning but your girl has got to go to work so as always, guys, thank you for stopping by Maison Molly, and I'll see you guys next time.